Welcome to New Zealand, a land of beautiful landscapes, rich culture, and intriguing mysteries. From giant skeletons to ancient megalithic structures, we take a closer look at some of the most mysterious legends and stories that this country has to offer. Giants there have been a number of stories and legends throughout history that suggest the possibility of giants existing in ancient New Zealand. The official story is that New Zealand was uninhabited up until about 800 years ago. But was this really the case? There may be much more still to discover. Burial grounds are often uncovered by chance during excavations for buildings and roads, or as a result of natural erosion. In this case, work is halted while archaeologists work to move the remains with the assistance of the local iwi, or tribe. If remains are identified as existing outside their era or clan, this is usually the last we hear of it. Any information to do with the remains is kept a secret and any further finds are usually destroyed. We have just had a conversation with an excavator driver up in Northland and he was clearing the ground and he saw what he thought looked like um, some white footballs in the ground. So he cleared a little bit around these white footballs and found them to be skulls. He didn't feel good about this at all so he called the Auckland Museum and there he was told by a person that there was absolutely nothing they could do at the museum. The local iwi had no interest in these skeletons because they were not of their era and they simply had to be excavated over the top of. There was nothing they could do. Our question is Good gracious me, what are these skeletons? Who were they? And why were they being destroyed? Several newspaper articles from the 1930s confirm the discovery of seven-foot skeletons near the northern end of the country in Whangaroa were said to have fuzzy red hair still adhered to the skull. Raglan Harbour is home to several flat-topped hills which according to local Māori, were constructed by red-haired giants. Over time, human remains have been discovered scattered along the Raglan shoreline in crevices and caves. An independent archaeologist group known as Tangata Whenua 16 decided to take it upon themselves to uncover some of the mystery surrounding one of these sites. The group dug a 14 meter long tunnel located outside the town of Huntley, just north of Raglan. They'd said they were searching for a cave that had supposedly been the burial crypt for giants. The cave had allegedly been discovered and then sealed by people determined to hide New Zealand's secret history. A large fossilized femur bone was discovered, which when fully intact, would have measured 68 centimeters. On the average calculation, that equates to an individual of around eight feet tall. Kaimanawa Wall. The Kaimanawa Wall is a structure that has long puzzled archeologists and researchers. Located in the Kaimanawa forest, Lenake Taupo, it is a large stone wall made up of rectangular blocks that looked to have been expertly fitted together. Its origins and purpose are unknown, and the New Zealand government has shown little interest in investigating it further. Some believe it to be a natural formation that appeared due to superheated rock from volcanic activity that cooled over time, while others think it may be a man-made structure created by an ancient civilization that predates the Māori by millennia. It's not what you expect to find in a country where human history is only a few hundred years old. Geologists can only come to one agreement about one aspect of this block wall. It's been here at least 2,000 years. There's two schools of thought at the moment. One, that it's a natural occurrence, 
and one that the uh, blocks of rock have been placed here um, by some early civilization. The wall has horizontal and vertical lines that give the appearance of being constructed by humans, with some comparing it to the stone megalithic structures found on Easter Island. Its similarity to other megalithic structures found around the world, such as those in Egypt and Peru, has also led some to believe that it may be connected to other ancient civilizations. However, there is little information available about the wall as it is yet to be properly excavated. Its true origins remain a mystery. Ngatea UFO sightings have been reported in New Zealand for many years, with some of the earliest recorded incidents dating back to the 1950s. While some of these sightings have been explained as natural phenomena or misidentified aircraft, one curious case is particularly strange and possibly among the most credible. On the evening of the 4th of September in 1969, Wellington Air Traffic Control received a call from two air freight pilots reporting spotting an unidentifiable fluorescent blue pulsating light while flying. They'd said that the blue light was below the plane and moving slowly in the same direction at a speed of 50 to 60 knots and then suddenly vanished halfway over the Cook Strait. Earlier that day, farmer Bert O'Neill had noticed that the tips of some of the manuka trees on his farm near Ngatea, just north of the flight path, appeared to be bleached silver in color. The bleached trees formed a circular patch which was perfectly round, and within the center were three very clear and deep V-shaped impressions on the ground, measuring 90 centimeters long and up to 75 centimeters in depth. With several trees completely crushed underneath, they were evenly spaced, giving the appearance of some object with three long tripod legs coming down and landing with great force. O'Neill was completely stunned. His first thought was that it may have been a prank played by someone in the neighborhood. However, there were no tracks indicating that this was the work of a vehicle. Typical crop circles could easily be cut or trampled, but you would need incredible force to destroy the thick manuka this way. The triangular marks were pushed into the earth with so much force it had cut deep down into the tree's roots. Word of the event quickly spread through local radio and the press, and people flocked to the site to see it for themselves and take souvenirs. Investigators arrived later in the week, but by then the area had already been heavily trampled and some of the plants within the circle had been removed. The ground markings had also been disturbed, a perplexing incident with no logical explanation. Patu Paiorehe In the mythology of the Maori people of New Zealand, the Patu Paiorehe are a supernatural race of beings that have long captured the imagination of the island's people. Described as tall and slender, with pale to fair skin and blonde or red hair, they are said to possess a mischievous nature and a fascination with humans. They are also said to be afraid of fire and sunlight. Some say they are a deeply spiritual race with their own set of customs and beliefs. Others believe they may be a lost tribe with a deep connection to the land and the natural world. According to legend, the Patu Paiorehe live in deep forests and hilly or mountainous regions in large guarded communities. The music of the Patu Paiorehe played on instruments like the kōōō and pōtōrino is said to be sweeter than the music that Māori could play. They would allegedly kidnap young people and take them back to their hidden villages, never to be seen again, luring them with the sound of their music and songs. Are the Patu Paiarehe simply myth or do they have a basis in reality? Some claim to have encountered these mysterious beings in the wild and to have witnessed their otherworldly powers firsthand. Others believe that they are simply a product of the imagination, a cautionary tale 
to remind us to respect the natural world and be mindful of the unseen forces at work around us. The Patu Paiarehe remain a fascinating and enduring part of Māori culture, and as you explore the forests and hills of New Zealand, you can't help but wonder, could these enchanted beings still be out there, watching and waiting? South Canterbury Panther The Canterbury Panther is a mysterious big cat of unknown origin that has been reported numerous times over several decades to have been sighted in the South Island of New Zealand. This is particularly mysterious as the country is an isolated island nation and it officially has no known native mammals in their ecosystem. In 1915, a ship from America docked and began unloading its cargo, which included animals destined for Australia. During the process, a cage containing a pregnant female puma was accidentally broken open, releasing the animal. The puma was last spotted heading towards Port Hills, just outside of Christchurch. Some believe the puma may have survived, hidden from humans and given birth to offspring, who then managed to survive several generations in the Canterbury region. In 1977, early one morning, just north of Port Hill, a woman reported to the police that she'd just seen a tiger from her home. After investigating, they found that all the registered tigers in the country were accounted for, and her story was mostly discredited. Four days later, paw prints and droppings of an unknown large cat were found on the beach. A search was launched by the police, including a military helicopter and armed police with tranquilizers, but no such creature was found. The search ended a few days later with no results. Could the unknown creature have been a descendant from the pregnant puma that was lost in 1915? Many other reported sightings have also occurred over the years of large cats roaming the Canterbury region and beyond with varying credibility. Some even provide video footage of what seems to be a large black cat. The Canterbury Panther remains an elusive mystery and it continues to be a subject of fascination and speculation in the minds of New Zealanders. New Zealand's ancient legends and mysteries continue to captivate and intrigue, leaving much to be discovered and explored.